In this video, I will be explaining about Access Handler SIP Drive object from Machine Builder Libraries. Access Handler SIP Drive object provides enhanced management of SIP motion access. It is a powerful management and diagnostic tool that includes text based status and diagnostics, manual operator control, and associated faceplate. It has a portfolio of available methods that are used for easy application development. At its core, it consists of a paired physical axis and path axis. The physical axis is geared to the path axis, thus allowing hardware abstraction as application code needs to send commands only to the path axis. With physical and virtual mode, user can engage or disengage physical and path axis. Virtual mode also allows to test the application without actual hardware. Another advantage is with recovery. When physical access is faulted while machine running, the path access will remain in relation with the application code. After clearing the fault, the physical access can be recovered back to the path access position using the sync method. This simplifies the application development for recovery. Let us understand the access handler component. The first is access handler add-on instruction. In an application, each SIP access needs one instance of this instruction. The device object provides device management. It is interfaced with access handler using the interface tag that are common for all SIP motion device objects. This also gives freedom to migrate from one motion class device to another without changing the application code. System initialization is a program folder scheduled under controller powerup handler. One instance of the program is required per controller. It provides management of global handler ID number at controller powerup. Global handler ID means each handler is provided with a unique ID which is used in event capture and also to pair method and handler. Language pack is a program folder. One instance is required per controller. It provides language management for all handler event messages. English is provided as the default language, but the following language add-ins are also available. User defined language is also allowed, provided the language is compatible with ASCII characters. Methods are the instructions that are used for application development. Each method is connected to the handler using the handle tag. Methods can be from machine builder library or user developed. I have a demo application to explain about access handler and its faceplate. These are the reference parameters for physical access, path access, motion group and module. The control interface tags are used to interface the motion device object with access handler. Inf lookup is the lookup array for event messages in selected language. Language parameter is used to link language in use with language pack program. Reference ghid is the global access handler ID assigned by system initialization program. Reference handle is the primary interface between method and access handler. The access handler configuration, setting, command and status interface tags can be used in application code. The status virtual indicates if the handler is in virtual mode. Connected means the physical device is connected to the controller. Available means the device is not faulted, not inhibited and motion group is synced. Warning means there is active warning exists in the device. Faulted means the device is faulted. Ready means device is connected, configured and ready to receive user command. Active means the device power structure is enabled. No motion means the device is active with no active motion instructions. Zero speed means the access velocity is within user specified standstill limit. On path means the physical access is geared to its path access and its command position is matched to the path access position. These output parameters indicate path access velocity and position. 
on the faceplate. This is the home tab. On top is the handler status. This is the event list with timestamp. These are handler and access status. Path and physical access, position and velocity. In the settings tab, user can jog the physical access for maintenance purpose. Before jogging, the handler should have no motion status. That means path access is not executing any motion instruction. The power and jog commands can be inhibited from the logics using inhibit external command parameter. In page 2, user can select the language for event display. In the configuration tab, user can see the event messages in detail. It shows event message, event type as status, warning or alarm, the method ID, category, action which indicates the error code in the method, value indicating the method type and timestamp. Other than the fault and method events, user can enable event for handler state, access state and motion status. The jog dynamics like acceleration time and deceleration time can be modified from here. The tolerances for zero speed and on path status can be modified from here. User can switch between physical and virtual mode from these radio buttons. The configuration parameters can be inhibited from the logics using inhibit external configuration parameter. This page shows the methods that are registered with the handler. These four methods energize, de-energize, clear fault and jog are internal to the handler. These three methods are written in the application code. The list shows the method ID and also the location of the method. The fault tab lists all the fault event captured. The list shows count which is number of times the fault has occurred, event type, method ID, category, action and timestamp. The method errors can be configured as warning or fault in the configuration tag of access handler. This is the navigation button for device object faceplate. I'll open the faceplate now. I'm using Kinetics 5500 device object. So I get the device faceplate for Kinetics 5500. I'll close the faceplate. The help tab shows basic help about the faceplate. To demonstrate the jog action, I'll open the settings tab. First we will energize the axis with power button. Now the axis is energized. The jog forward and jog reverse buttons are now enabled. I'll press the jog forward to jog the physical axis in forward direction. Once left, the axis will decelerate and stop. Similarly, jog reverse also works. I'll de-energize the axis now. I have included few methods in this application demo to demonstrate the recovery of physical axis to path axis position. First, to energize the axis, I'll use energize method. I'll trigger the instruction. Now the access status is energized. The sync path physical access method can be configured to recover physical access to path access position or path access to physical access position. For this demo, I have configured to recover physical access to path access position. I'll trigger the sync method. You can notice the physical access is recovered to path access position and also geared, thus setting the on path status. I will demonstrate how the physical and virtual mode work. First, I'll trigger move333 method to show how path and physical axis work in physical mode. The physical axis is already energized 
and in sync with path axis. Thus, the on path status is on. I'll trigger the mo333 method. You can notice that both path and physical axis are moving together as physical axis is geared with the path axis. Next, I'll switch the mode to virtual. Before switching to virtual mode, the axis must be de energized. To de energize, I'll trigger the de energize method. From the configuration tab, I'll select the virtual mode. Now the handler is in virtual mode. You can notice the physical axis position and velocity is no more updated as the handler and device object is disconnected from the physical axis. To demonstrate the virtual mode, I'll first trigger the energize method. The energize status is turned on. Since the physical axis is not present, no recovery is required, thus on path status is on. I'll trigger the mo333 method. You can notice only the path axis is moving now. To demonstrate language pack, I have enabled the motion status to be captured in the event list. First, I will jog the axis and show the motion status events in English language. You can see the motion status axis jog and axis stop are captured in English language. Next, we will switch the language to check. A language can be selected only if the same has been included when instantiating the language pack object in ACM. Now I have selected the check language. I will go back to the jog page. Again I will trigger the jog forward button. Now you can see the axis jog and axis stop motion status are displayed in check language. In this section, I'll demonstrate how to instantiate Axis Handler SIP Drive object in Application Code Manager. The ACM already has machine and device library registered. You need to download the libraries from Rockwell Automation Product Compatibility and Download Center page. I have already created a project, added a controller and display. I have also added a program in which we will add the Access Handler SIP Drive implementation object. To add, right click on the task and click Add New. In the filter, enter Handler. Select the Access Handler SIP Drive implement object and click Next. I will name the instance as Access Handler Pusher. Select the program where the object is to be instantiated. I will select the program already created or you can add a new program. The routine name and tag name are derived from the object instance name. It can be modified if required. This is the path axis name. I will modify the name as axis pusher path. Select the display where the navigation object is to be placed. Click next. In the link libraries, I will first create the device object. To create, click on create new instance. These are the available motion device objects. I will select the Kinetics 5500. Click next. I will name the device object instance as device object pusher. Select the task and program. 
I will enter the same routine name as handler. So both device object and handler are instantiated into same routine. This is the hardware module name. The physical access name. I will modify the physical access name as access pusher physical. Select true if the physical access is to be created. Click next. Click auto create to create the link libraries. Click finish. Now the device object is added. I will use auto create to create the rest of the link libraries. Click finish to complete the instantiation. You can notice the access handler is now added in the program. Also the language pack and system initialization program. The path and physical access are also added. To select the language other than English, click on the access handler language pack implement. Select the language which is required and click apply. To understand further about generating the code and display, watch the ACM workflow basics video series. For more information, download Machine Builder Libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.